Seems like we're done with Riel's life, uh, backstory arc, and crazy revelation, right? It's just like revive life, and it's like Riel. No way, she's a clone. She's so fucking stupid. She is actually so fucking stupid, that makes me mad. But then I think about it, and I'm like, you know what? She's a mentally stunted child, and I should not be this upset. I still enjoy her peak design, the Kudere Charmed, but she was more like a Yandere. I don't really know. We're done with that arc, and we have three episodes left. We're still at the beach right now, so... Hopefully one more hype arc to wrap up the season, and then we wait for season two of Classic Records. It's, it's coming, right? It's coming, right, guys? Let's begin today's reaction. Albert's probably my favorite character. Wow, Sensei playing with us! Her? Huh? Glenn Radar's past lover? This is why Glenn is thirsting over Sisty so much. Sarah Silvers. Was it a flashback? Which flashback was it? Which episode was it? Sarah Silvers. I'm trying to think. Fuck, I can't remember right now. Glenn's flashback. Was there a girl named Sarah Silvers? I remember Serika. I remember the other people that he was killing. Mark on her f Oh! Oh, that girl! The mark on her face girl. Okay, yes, yes. That's been teased a couple of times, and then they she hasn't shown up recently, but in the earlier season, yes, she was heavily shown in those flashback scenes. Gold digger is today's episode? <laughs> oh, it's the maid. Nanami slash Shiki's voice actor. That's like the evil dude of uh, Divine Wisdom, huh? Are these the Akashic Records and the rocks? What, what are these symbols in the rocks? Akashic Records? The way you all choose to live will create my story after all. And what is his story? The Akashic Records? What the fuck does that even mean? Are we at Sisti's place or Rumiya's place? Sisti's place. <laughs> Mom and dad's pretty funny, huh? These chairs are very cunning. Because it looks like there's like cat ears or like rabbit ears, you know. The holes in the back and that angle right by their head. Oh, oh she loves him. Everything starts and ends with Glenn. My life for Glenn. Let's see it real. Imperial capital. Oh, home alone? Let's throw a party. Something important. Clearly, that's going to be super important. But fuck it. The floating castle again. It's alright. We know you're stupid. It's not your fault. Okay, Reel's back. Just, what a roller coaster. She went from, I'm gonna fucking kill every one of you, and then to like, okay, now you're my friends again. What if she goes crazy again? Ugh, oh, come on, man. Glenn? Oh! And Serika is also in the library looking for something, right? Last time we saw Serika in the library, Glenn, Glenn said like, you're still looking for that, right? Oh. So be stupid and move forward. I made that up. She, she literally just said, like, <laughs> only the fools who progresses forward will advance society, while the wise will sit back and do nothing. Wow. So deep. Who came up with that? <laughs> Source me. Goodbye. Where is this? Secret labyrinth? La uh, library? Is this her workstation? Underground labyrinth. To do what? Oi. 
Sarah Silvers. Let's talk about her. ちまんねえのあこの前死にかけた時俺に白まぎリバイバーをやってくれたのっておいやおいやCPRおいや、CPR。一応礼を言っておかないとな。サンキュー。Wait。Was Okay, she went the other way now. She's gonna kill Glenn if you touch my friends now. Okay. Relax, you fucking retard! Oh! Because, like, she did stab him once, and I was like, holy shit. Oh, oh. No isekai. That sounds like a familiar voice actor. Whose voice is, is this Kirito? This is not Kirito, right? I can't tell. Is this Kirito? <laughs> Who are you? Leos. Leos. Leos Kratos. Okay. This is Shin's voice actor? Oh. That's what the dad forgot. Okay. That's specifically what the dad fucking forgot about. Well, I mean, it's better because then it would have been a spoil secret, right? レオス君が来るよって that's him. You're the Imperial Mage. Yeah, and he extends the spells. He's like a nice guy. Head of the Countdown? He's got so much clout. The count them. I'm not sure what count them is, but head of count them. Famous the Imperial United Magical Society. Bro is like built to be like the next king. He hated Glenn, but he's fine with Leos because of his credits. Something is fishy. He's still so fucking mad that he lost in the fucking sports festival, bro. You fucking dumbass. You fucking idiot. Leos is evil? Oh. What did you just say? It'd normally be impossible for anyone to have the hot for an impertinent girl like <laughs> I mean, he literally sees his like past lover in her if Sarah Silvers is the fucking past lover. <laughs> Real doesn't get it, obviously. I think Rumi understands, though. Holy shit, that's a lot of math. Yeah, now we use guns and pistols. Somehow he's amplified our spells. Cool. Interesting. Wind magic doesn't is wind spells are weak, but like Sisti specifically specializes in wind, huh? Hmm. Oh wow, what a dignified lecturer. I love you, Leo Sensei! Ah, of course, the material force theory. Because this is like Mahoka route of military trying to poach students to create a pipeline of future soldiers. Is that what's going on here with Leos? Okay. Oh. Oh. 
力の意味と使い方をよ、yeah. 今はその意味がわかる気がします。Rumia gets it. So it's like, be careful with the power. But right now, he's just kind of flexing like an AK 47 in front of everyone, saying, You guys can all shoot this gun. And Glenn is like, You gotta be careful with the guns. But they were talking about how the Imperial side is actually also evil. Last episode, right? Yeah, and I said that I agree. I probably. They probably are kind of evil, right? It's not just divine wisdom that's bad. The imperial side, they probably are kind of trash. Even though the queen is the only person we know in terms of leadership, I guess. And I thought that queen would have oversight on everything, but it seems like they're trying to do some sketchy ass shit by trying to poach some kids and introduce them dangers of magic at an early age. That's a flag. That's a flag. <laughs> マジでいい買い物したな。シロネコワンサンセイ。どうでしたか?北のない意見が聞きたいですね。それは良かった。何せあなたは更新泣かせとして言う。Then again in episode 1, she was extremely hostile towards Glenn. For the right reasons too though. として、まずは第一関門突破。でしょうか?だからそういうこと。少し外を一緒に歩きませんか?あなたと話したいことがあります。少しでも構いませんが。are we getting cucked right now? I never saw Sistine as an actual candidate. Leos is the same age as Sistine? How does that work? Now, I wonder which direction they're going to take with Leos. Either he's like a really nice guy that's honestly genuinely nice, or he's a nice guy but is actually a fucking creep like that Death Gun's brother in GGO's SAO. You know what I mean? No, I don't remember because I wasn't there. I feel like he's grooming her. Hmm, I feel like he's grooming her, man. Hmm. And it would have actually happened? You get married? Or as in it would just pass by and no one would remember? This is what Rumi wanted Glenn to see? I'm gonna engage. Ring, engagement ring. Just jump the gun. No? What? What's wrong? Oh. Rejected. Okay. Wait until I solve the mysteries, then I'll marry you. Wait, what's happening? Ancient civilization, ancient magic, Akashic records. Hey, you don't know that. I don't like this. I don't like this nice guy race, bro. I, I don't like this nice guy race. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You dare fucking insult our grandfather's legacy on top of that and their current dream. How, how, how the fuck are you gonna insult her entire pursuit of life and the grandfather's legacy and then ask her? Hey, by the way, you wanna help me out with this? Oh, I'm sure she's really gonna say yes now. Sisti, I swear to God, if you accept this. Good, good. She'd be wasting it by marrying you, brother. Get out of here. What a great character, bro. What a great character. You're the main character in your own life story. I think that everybody should live like they're the main character of their own life. Now, it doesn't mean you should disrespect other people and just treat them like static NPCs. No, 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 no. But I do think that everyone should have that ego to act as if they are their own main characters without being tuny. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Sisti wants you to save her. Come on, Glenn, do something. Oh? Why is this business? Because we kissed last episode. 
だって将来を誓い合った恋人同士だから What? You're going to jail? We're going to jail sis You cannot be saying this out loud We're a teacher Now I don't know how old Leos is actually Leos might be the same age as us And Glenn is 19 She's like 15 I'm not here to fucking discuss What's legal or not But like it's kind of a bad look When a student's saying that shit About a teacher You know what I mean? Interesting excuse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, cucked. <laughs> cucked. <laughs> she actually did, though. Kissed. 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 That is so cringe, bro. And when, like, this is the place you, where you walk away and say congratulations and move on. Like, if you're literally still here after a girl rejects you and keeps saying, no, what I'm doing here is for her good, like, for her own good, it's just like, dude, read the fucking room and get out of here. This is so cringe. Shobu, throw a glove at his face, bro. <laughs> Duel? Duel incoming again. It's been a while since we've had a duel. I think it's been since like episode two, right? Yeah! I swear to God, if Glenn loses, man. Riel's still sleeping. Riel does not give a fuck about this episode. Real has been sleeping not once but twice now. I mean, anytime they're yapping too much, he just snoozes immediately. <laughs> or lovers, though, huh? <laughs> if you're my wife, I won't have to worry. I mean, I guess he is marrying into royalty and they're rich as fuck, so. Okay. I think they reuse the same Baka wind, you know, scene over and over and over. It's the same fucking form every time for Sistine and Glenn. <laughs> yes, shut in some work free life. Let's go. Yeah, why are we teaching the kids? You're right. The episode. The episode title was literally called Gold Digger. And I was thinking, was Leos the Gold Digger? Nah, it was Glenn. This is at least a very entertaining way for Glenn to be interested in Sisti rather than be a weird fucking, you know, like creep, right? He's just like, nah, I'm just here for the fucking money, bro. I don't want to work. Albert? Albert. Kind of right about that. I just want money. Albert's lonely and has no friends. Angel's dust! last year. What's going on? Okay. Oh. Humans injected with that drug become ruined husks for others to control. They can be controlled with angel dust, huh? Okay. <laughs> Why'd you fucking bring me out here and tell me then? Okay. Sarah Silver's died for Angel Dust incident last year. Is Leos here smuggling in? But it's just a coincidence that Bro arrives here and then suddenly Angel Dust gets smuggled in. Same with the. And, and then there also has to be some similarity between Sarah Silver's and Sistine, so I'm gonna assume Leo is involved in the smuggling of drugs? Maybe he seems a bit too nice. I still can't get a read on him. There she is. Your dream. What's, your, what's his dream? To be like a hero? Still hiding her face, bro. Still fucking hiding her face. Shiro Inu. White dog. White cat. What are the fucking parallels between Sarah Silvers and Sistine, bro? I'll protect you. Psych, she died. 
<laughs> Maybe you should have said something because she fucking died. Still can't see her face though. Angel Dust? Angel Dust? We don't know this guy, right? I don't remember him. Was he in the earlier episodes? This is a new enemy from, I'm gonna assume, Divine Wisdom. Probably, right? Okay. My justice. So they are evil motherfuckers. And that's today's episode of Akashic Records. What's going on right now? We are in a new arc where they're like smuggling in drugs called Angel's Dust, which lets people get controlled. And it's looking like Leos is directly involved with them because there's another dude in the carriage who's saying uh, this is all part of the plan. The duel was all according to plan. And just do your best against Glenn. And while they buy time, wonder what the goal is here. Sistine and the marriage with Glenn. Listen, he's a teacher. Leos is also a teacher. At 1915, I'm not here to discuss age gaps or stuff like that. It's just not a good look when a teacher and a student kind of gets, you know, involved in like that. But hey, we're just trying to be a fucking gold digger, baby. I just don't want to work. I'm going to marry into money so I can respect the uh, hustle for the lack of hustle there from Glenn. So it's looking like we're going to do a duel. There's some drug smuggling that we got to sort out. And this issue relates back to Sarah Silvers, who is white dog not white cat white dog who died in the incident who apparently like like if this drug spread happens again then her death was in vain so something happened back in the day where we had an incident to stop the production of angels dust but we're back again and time to find out next episode but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care